We just got an awesome box filled of new WWE Mattel Elite Customs from Angelo and I would say let's open it up and see what we got in there together. Okay, before we get into the video, let me answer some questions that get asked under every single video. Okay, these figures are exclusively available on the FAW GCW Superstore on eBay. There's a pre-sale opportunity for Patreon members, so what doesn't sell on the Patreon will be available on the eBay in a couple of days. Now, if you don't see a certain figure on the eBay page, that either means that we haven't put them up yet or that it has been sold out. If you're watching the video on the day it came out, it will probably be three to four days until they go up on the eBay page. We're not taking orders. What you see in these videos is pretty much all that's gonna be available for the next month or so. Once we have a new batch available, you'll see another video with new available figures, but that is all we can offer for the moment. Ooh, all right, just had to get that out of the way because these questions get asked all the time You know a lot of Socrates action going on under these videos, but um, let's go into um, These figures and first off you already see we got Seth Rollins from a backlash and when I first saw that attire I figured that would be like really hard to make but Angelo again figured it out and made it a reality and again it looks factory made, you know, we got all the Rollins attires here always on the channel. And um, yeah, definitely had to get that backlash look done for Rollins with the uh, head skin here, that ponytail head skin made into his uh, long hair. And okay, moving on, we got Mark Briscoe. Um, very, very nice figure here again. Um, a lot of you guys enjoyed the Briscoes debut at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. You guys want to see them back, so I should bring them back at some point as well here in GCW. But let's look at these figures here. First off, we got the Mark again, which is really, really nice. And um, let me try to find where Jay is. Um... Yeah, I think this is Jay. Okay, Jay Briscoe here to go with his brother. Uh, these attires are based off their match against uh, FTR. And, um, you know, really memorable matches right there. And um, last time we put the Briscoes up, they went immediately. So we wanted to have another set available for somebody that really wants to add them in with their Mattel collections. Let's take a look at them together. Really, really cool set here once again. Alright, then I think we get ready for the next figure. And, um, okay. This is a figure that you've probably seen. It's Kodai Bushi, but we got the new head scan from a Hederation. Now, it looks really good. I think it might be a little bit too big for the body. Um... Danny suggested to go back to that um, bigger torso, um, the like Triple H uh, legend style torso for Ibushi. But um, yeah, I think this still looks pretty cool. The head skin is really nice and the Ibushi attire is um, I think pretty much the same as the one that I had for the Elimination mm -hmm. Chamber pay-per-view. Next off, we got Switchblade J White as an ultimate edition because um, the ultimate edition torso here of Rake Root it fits so nicely for the switchblade so um, we wanted to make one of these available as well and uh, Angelo did a great job of that again and this is a tire he wore um, pretty sure at the Tokyo Dome against Okada so um, yeah that is a great piece as always for the switchblade <laughs> Um, okay, now these are some really cool things. We got a CM Punk Ultimate Edition. This is based off his Night of Champions match against John Cena over the WWE Championship. And, you know, it's unlikely we'll ever get an Ultimate Edition CM Punk. So, yeah, all the tattoos and everything had to be... Put on there you know you couldn't use any Mattel parts because uh, Mattel doesn't have a double jointed CM Punk no ultimate edition CM Punk 
So all of this stuff was customized. He has these um, nice um, wrist tape things that Angelo now puts onto the figures. They look really good. And uh, the attire looks clean as always. Head skin looks great. This is such an iconic attire, I think. We even sold this attire like back in the day a lot, like 10 years ago. We sold a bunch of these as regular elites because Mattel never made this attire. Um, moving on, we got another uh, Rollins. And you know, that is based off of the Night of Champions where he won the championship. And again, such a factory looking Rollins right here. Um, in the blue with the cheetah print on there. Really, really nice from the night he won the um, WWE World Heavyweight Championship um, against AJ Styles in Saudi Arabia. So that is such a cool piece here once again for Rollins. Moving on, um, what do we got? Okay, another Ultimate Edition CM Punk, but this one is based on AEW and again you got all the tattoos even more tattoos you got some uh, on the legs there as well the head skin is just tremendous I think looks amazing and um, yeah such a great attire for punk let's look at it from the back as well looks just as good and yeah that adds head skin man I really Really think that is amazing. All the tattoos just looks great as an Ultimate Edition. Something, I mean, this one you'll most definitely never get from Mattel because this is an AEW attire. So, um, the Night of Champions one, maybe one day, it's unlikely as well. But this one definitely is never going to come out as an official Mattel Ultimate Edition of CM Punk. Okay, moving forward, uh, what do we have next? Uh, let me see which we are going to do. And yeah, we got Zack Sabre Jr. who's just missing some hands, which is because uh, Angelo was lacking hands, so I'm gonna put these onto Zack. But this is based on his new look from when he joined TMDK. Pretty much his look from uh, Wrestle Kingdom this year onwards and um, we also got the um, a blonde hair featured on there so that is really cool as well looks um, really cool with the orange kick pads and stuff for Zack and um, yeah let's move on to the next figure and oh this one is like I'm so excited about this one we got Shingo Takagi and this gotta be my favorite figure in the batch man. This is so so cool I haven't seen a lot of Shingo Takagi uh, custom figures and Hederation just came out with a Shingo head skin so we had to grab that and uh, Man look at that uh, body. I think the Iron Sheik body works really well We got uh, double jointed elbows on him as well and the attire is just so clean again looks like a factory made Shingo Takagi definitely like worlds above what that uh, Super 7 company would have done ah man this is this is so cool you know his matches are amazing his matches with Ospreys are always classics if you haven't seen them you should definitely check them out uh, Shingo is such a good wrestler and um, moving on, we got another WWE custom. And we got Edge in his um, red Canadian style attire. Um, very cool here as well for Edge. You know, we put the bigger Bret Hart style torso on there. Because uh, the, the torso that Mattel uses just looks pretty bad. So... Yeah, I think that looks great here on Edge with the updated head skin as well. And uh, just a nice attire that uh, we really wanted to get in. Because people always seem to want um, some updated Edge figures with a better fitting torso. And I would say this definitely 
does the job right here. And then we go further and I think there's not too much left in here. There's, yes, a second Shingo Takagi because, um, I mean, you might see it down the line, I would say, um, on the channel. Uh, but yeah, we definitely needed two of Shingo and that pretty much wraps it up for this custom box again amazing stuff Again, if you skip the earlier part and are about to ask a question on how to get these it was all explained in the start so um, Yeah Man really cool stuff here once again. I gotta say my favorite gotta be Shingo Takagi um, You gotta let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite Rollins again we pretty much got all his updated gear and if he wears something new for sure we'll have it in the next batch But yeah, that is it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you all with more GCW here on the channel very soon